Hey, welcome. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guide. Today, we're going to do an unboxing of these shoes. This is the Yosal Thompson, and uh, this is uh, just arriving today, and look forward to taking a look at it together. Welcome to Wisconsin Shoe Guide. Here, we do unboxing videos. We discuss general shoe knowledge. We do worth the price videos as shoe reviews. And we will do shoe battles, uh, comparing shoe to shoe so that you can understand the differences. I also speak to experts in the field. Here are a couple of picks in my yard before we get to the unboxing. Welcome back. This is an unboxing video of a pair of shoes by Yosol. As you can see, they have you also on the tape. I'm sure like everybody, I'm a little nervous about cutting through the box too far. Put this down here. And look, I actually got into the box. Son of a gun. Well, that is no big deal. Certainly something I don't want to do again, and I don't want you to do. This means, yeah. So now if you compare this box to my other Yosol box, the other pair that I have, these actually um, came in a wood box. Uh, same logo, but this one, these were uh, a pair of their uh, Prestige line, which was from Macariello. So here we have this, and it's a drawer with leather. So let's open. And this is just my info and what it is. This is a made to order um, in Horween, Russia. So as you can see, it's really well wrapped, made a long uh, journey from Singapore. The shoe bags are velvet. Very nice ones. Uh, with these, which uh, I don't call agless. I don't know what to call those. But that's different. And here's the shoe. This is in dark brown. I thought it was going to be saddle, but that's okay. Dark brown hatch grain. And You've got that fiddle back there. You've got no visible nails. You can see the work they did here is very nice. So we'll take a look. Here we are. The other one. It's all very nice. And this is the rounded last instead of the chisel last. All right, there we go. So I wanted to share some initial pictures that I took with you just to kind of uh, let you see kind of what they look like in different lights. The first one was inside. This is outside. Uh, this is later in the day using my phone. Uh, this is a really nice shot of the sole that I got with my phone. Um, and here's a close-up of the toes. And then um, here it is on the, uh, for the ankle. You can see kind of what the tapered heel looks like there. Uh, this is a close-up of the stitches. I think this is going to come in handy as we do shoe battles. Um, and then this is just another look at that toe. I really like the way that this all came together. And lastly, this is an example of the handwriting on the inside of the shoe. So you can tell that I've actually had uh, a couple of hours uh, to wear these and uh, have gotten some wear on the sole. Um, you can also tell that unlike some of my other shoes, the soles do wear down a little bit faster than others, um, which is fine. You expect that in a tier two shoe. Um, the the Yosol is a very um, well-made um, handmade shoe. Uh, it is not like the Acme, uh, nor should it be. A, it costs roughly a third of the Acme. Uh, but it, it is a, um, 
you know, and, and Horween hatch grain is Horween hatch grain. So it's going to look the same on the outside. It's the stitching and it's some of the other things that really differentiate the shoe uh, from, from the other. Um, one issue that had occurred, and if you look at the sh uh, sh pictures of me wearing the shoes, you'll note that um, they're a little, and I mean little, on the loose side. Um, so I'm probably going to need to wear thicker socks with these, uh, which is not the end of the world by any means. Um, I can also put an insole in them. Uh, and varying thicknesses of insoles will, will always help as well. Uh, but this actually brings an interesting question um, that I wanted to pose to the group. Have you ever asked for your shoes to be lasted with the laces open? Uh, this is something that has come up on an MTO that I'm working on right now for uh, Enzo. And um, uh, it, it seems to uh, fare out. A number of uh, shoe aficionados have suggested it to me. I've talked to a, a couple of the manufacturers and they can do this. And for me, where the vamp fits really well, but I have too much leather here, that seems to be a good option. Now, the other way to go about this, of course, is to talk to the shoemaker directly and ask them to customize the last for you or to customize the cut for you and make this shorter. Right. Um, and I can do that with, um, you know, where I have a, a customized last or I have a made to measure shoe, uh, but I, I can't do that everywhere. And so this is another option that I'm learning about, which I wanted to share with you as well. So uh, here is to you. Hopefully uh, everybody's having a great start in the new year. This is my first unboxing video for the new year. I'm super excited uh, to get started and uh, look forward to uh, sharing these new shoes with you. So thank you so much for watching and please feel free to comment and let me know what you think.